now. Do you feel like you can unpack this drawing right here? This drawing that at the beginning of this lecture probably made your eyes cross and made you start twitching and go, ah, like that. Do you think you can unpack it? Go ahead and push pause if you would like to, if you would like to, hint, hint, do it, and see if you can figure out which side is sympathetic and which side is parasympathetic and be able to defend yourself, be able to explain using words or write down how you know which side is which. And I will trust that you went and did that. And I'm going to say, let's, let's see if we can figure it out. First of all, notice, notice that my fibers on the right side of this drawing, whoa, 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 look at this madness coming out of the brain stem. What? And the sacrum. What? Really? That's crazy talk. Isn't that cool? So which, right there. Done. You know which side is which. What is this? This is parasympathetic because parasympathetic visceral motor fibers come out of the brain stem through cranial nerves and the sacral region, S2 to S4. Let's check that. Is it true for the other side? Is it true that on the other side my my preganglionic neurons are really short. Look at this. Look at how short they are. They're actually tight to the spinal cord. And then my postganglionic neurons, whoa, that's the one that is long. Look at how long those guys are. Look at over here. My postganglionic neurons are literally, I mean, my ganglionic neurons are literally like just micrometers long. They're tiny. If you can't see, I'm drawing them all over the place. They're tiny. They're almost embedded in the, the speak organ themselves. What level, what spinal cord level are we talking about here? T1 to L2. That's where all my fibers are coming out. So, yeah, this is definitely the sympathetic side. Notice that both sides innervate the heart. Both sides innervate the lungs. Both sides innervate everything. That's good. And both sides are going to, um, just in case you were wondering, it's not like one side of your body feeds sympathetic and the other side of your system feeds parasympathetic. These are all coming out of the whole, like we could put them all together. And that would be even a cooler image to put them all together showing them both coming out both sides, but this keeps it so that you can visualize it better. Are you happy with the comparison of parasympathetic and sympathetic structures? We're going to wrap it up with a review of visceral motor function. We've got sympathetic and parasympathetic structure. We just reviewed it. We're cool. Now let's just do a quick overview of their different functions, and then we're going to do touching and call it good.